All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Today is part two. Last time we checked this car out, 2004 Nissan Quest with 3.5 engine. We checked it out. We had a series of uh, codes in here. The customer was complaining with the car was shutting off, then it would start right back up. One of the codes in there was a PO340. Bank one. Uh, camshaft the sen camshaft sensor had a malfunction in it. So what we're going to do today, today we're going to show you how to replace it. Now remember in part one, where we saw a lot of oil leaking down on there. So uh, we got to let we got to give the customer a price on doing the valve cover gaskets. That's if it's that. When we get that air cleaner out of there, we're going to check that out, see where that oil leak is coming from. And in the meantime, what we're going to do we're going to see if we got some electrical tape. Why? I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, now that that out of the way, here we go. You guys been knowing Marcus, right? So now Marcus has been doing the openings and the closings. Now Marcus is going to come up here and do the opening again. And I want your guys' opinion on how he does. And also on the closing. Now y'all know y'all been keeping track of how he's been doing it. So let's hear it again, all right? So we'll be right back with Marcus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Marcus from Astro Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, uh, today, we have a 2004 Nissan Nissan Quest 3.5 engine. Today we will be changing bank one of bank bank one of the cam cam sense. I, I just had it. I just had it. bank one of the cam. I mean, I just had it. I just had it. I just had cam it. shaft position yeah. sensor on bank one. Cam shaft position sensor on bank one. Um, uh, on part one, we've we seen that uh, it was oil leaking into the original cam shaft sensor. So we're about to replace it, and we're right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The cam. Now this car has two cam shaft positioning sensors. One on the left side of the engine, and one on the right side. Now. You want to do this as if you're standing in back of the motor, and that's considered the right side, not when you're standing in the front, all right? Now the camshaft position sensor, here's one located right there. You see the green little plug. And number two, let's see if I can zoom in on it. You're going to see just the plug. Well, it's kind of blurry because it's all way over there. There it is. There's the plug, and you see all that oil on it, so we're going to try to clean that up as much as possible. All right, now that you know where it's at, now, as, as a shop owner, when you're training somebody, this is something you definitely want to do. Now, Marcus, you know where that sensor is at. Yes. Now, without this is how you know if somebody's going to be good at working on cars, uh, pretty much using common sense I'm gonna have Marcus get to that sensor without me saying anything at all I'm gonna see what he does all right I'm gonna put me some gloves on Marcus gonna get some gloves on and we'll be right back all right Marcus let us know how to get that get to that sensor all right what would you do first thing I would do um, I see First thing I would do, I want, I want to uh, take off the casing because I see the that, top of the engine cover. Yeah, top of the engine cover. No, you don't. I don't. All right. mm. I want to. I see. mean, you know, you know, you know. I'm, I'm gonna let you do it your way. I'm gonna let you do it your way. You want to take off that cover? Yeah. I'm All right. Not gonna take, so take Marcus, want to take off this cover first. So what we have here. Oh man, we got some torques in here. Dang it. Alright, let's get a, let's get something to take these bolts off. We'll be right back. Alright, no no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop Mark because we ain't gonna take that off. Figure out something else. Alright. Uh my first thing I was thinking I should take off this um you uh, take off um this clamp and move it over to the uh -huh. side. So therefore I can see how far do I gotta go back? Cause I see his multiple hoses clocked up in one spot to get to the cam camshaft sensor. 
So I want to get some uh, grip pliers, and now I'll be right back. You gonna move that hole? Remove the hose? The thing. Now what you gonna do? I want to uh, move this hose out. Uh, gonna get this hose out the way. All right, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I got, I got, I got your tools right here. Man. Let's see. Here you go. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> You want to tell people what you want? Tell oh, what you're doing. What I'm doing, um, I got my vice grips, mm -hmm. and I want to uh, use my vice grips to uh, squeeze in this clamp and twist it back so it can, comes off. Oh, oh, that's a mistake right there. Now, pay attention to what Marcus just did. See how he laid them vice grips up there? If that vice grips would have touched that positive battery terminal and the negative, it would have shorted something out the car. Always be careful when you got the battery right there. If you see it open like that and uh, you're not sure whether you're going to drop something on it, what you want to do is get you a nice thick rag or something and place it over that so you don't uh, touch it. All right, but you can go ahead. They be in it for me. Turn that thing. Oh. Is it is it coming off? Uh, I turn it, but let me position. Okay, let me, let me get out there. Let me get out here. Now you want to also make sure that clamp is back enough. So what you got to do is squeeze your vice grips in more, turn your vice grips in more, tighten them up more. Alright. There you go. What's next? Next, I want to do is um, get right there. Got to uh, you want me to do you want me to make right so I can please put my hand on two? No, man, or? I want you to change it. Get to All it, right. you can change it. All right. So, uh, get right there. Come out to this. All right. All right. I see. I see this is the um. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Alright, hold the camera. I'm gonna show you a little, little trick. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you a little trick too. Doing things like this. When you got something way back there, now you're gonna back up some. Now what you wanna do, here's a here's a little trick. Now when you take your hands and you see the part down there, you take your hands and you bring your hands right down to the part, keep on going till your hands stop and hit something. This is cool, this is a cool little trick you like to do. So my hands hit up against this air clean. So I said, okay, that air cleaner is in my way. There's no way I can no way I can get to that unless this air cleaner is out of the way. So now you go into the position where you're thinking, all right, let's get this air cleaner out of my way. And uh you look around, you can say, All right, I see uh I see two little clips over here. I'll pop these clips off. That loosens it up. Uh, this was, this clamp is loose, so I can actually try to bring it off of there, but now nah, that's too tight. So we're gonna have to get this out of the way. I'm gonna have to disconnect this sensor right here, and this is called the mass airflow sensor. 
and if you see a little plug right here this little tab so the only thing you do is squeeze that tab in and unplug it all right now we're good to go this clamp is already loose so now we pick up on it and bring that piece out of there so that's the top half to get this out of the way now we got this whole piece right here so now if up under here there's another clamp. Can you see in there? I think I should. See it, oh, you can. All right. So there's another clamp right here. But first, there's a little holes. Okay, that hose just clips into place. So I'll move that out of the way. Now we get me a little screwdriver or an 8 millimeter or 5 16 little socket with a quarter inch drive and take that off. So let me see over here. Got me a eight millimeter uh, quarter inch drive socket with my quarter inch drive ratchet, and I'm gonna get in there and hopefully try to loosen that up. Wait a minute, what's that thing? Wow, is that a ten? See if that's a 10 millimeter. Yes, it is, and I got my 3 8 drive ratchet now. I'm gonna loosen up that clamp, and actually, it could be better if you just use the screwdriver, short screwdriver. All right, it's not loosened up enough yet. All right, now that clamp is loose. And this thing might be kind of tight to come off, which it is. So you gotta just. All right, got that off. So now we take that thing out of there. Now, we look down there. And wow, this just got complicated because now we got an exhaust pipe in the way. But we can see our sensor now. So there's a. There's a good chance I can get this sensor out right now. And that's going to be tough to see. So I can show you. Uh, can you see now where that sensor is? Yeah, I can see the sensor. Let's, let's try to change spaces. Let's change spots. All right. Now, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. View on that sensor. Now, on this sensor, we got a plug right here. And also, to hold the sensor in, right there you got a 10 millimeter bolt. So, and I, what I want to do is, I'm going to take this sensor out without unplugging it. Because what I want to do is show you how to unplug that. And I can't really show you because it's so far deep down in there. So let me get me a 10 millimeter, and I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. We got an 8.5 inch 3 h drive extension with a 3 h drive 10 millimeter deep socket. Let me take my 10 millimeter shallow off of here. And what I'm going to do here is go over the pipe, between the pipe. You can see what's going on right there? Yep. Going right there. Let's see if we can loosen up that bolt. Alright. Here we go. Now you want to be careful not to drop this bolt. So what I'm doing is unscrewing it by hand as much as I can. Then I'm going to get my hand in there. And hold that bolt in place. Still dropped it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my goodness I dropped that bolt man. Alright. So we'll get that bolt in there. Dang it. Alright. 
So let's reach in here. And what you're going to do is twist the sensor back and forth. And at the same time, matter of fact, you know what? Make this easier. All right, check this out. Got me a set of hose pliers. So the hose pliers can reach in there, twist it back and forth, and pull it right out. So much easier. All right, so we're gonna go over here and pull this sensor out this way. And there we go. Now, to unplug these, this is the part where I'm talking about it's better. There's a tab right there. You see that tab right there? You gotta push that tab forward and so how it locks into place. And once it locks into place, you can unplug it. Damn, that thing was broken off there. All right, took us a little bit. We got our bolt. And this time what I did was took a leaf and stuck it into the socket and stuck the bolt in there. So when I go to put this back, it won't drop down. So right now I'm gonna set this to the side. Now here's our new sensor. Now remember, you got a camshaft position sensor over this side also. And this one, the plug is angled. So you wanna make sure you get the right one. This one, the plug is angled. And this one, the plug is straight out. So let's match it up, match our sensors up. Great, everything's the same thing. And what we want to do here, the first thing we want to do is plug it up into the plug so it makes it a lot easier for us. And as I plug it in, that tab right here on the top is supposed to snap back. See that? It snaps back. So now, well, this thing is not supposed to come out like that. <laughs> It's supposed to lock that right into place. Now that we got it in there, now what we're gonna do is try to turn it around and fish it back in there and put it back into the engine. You see them over there? Yeah, I can see it a little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. A little bit, man. This is a really tight spot. Especially, you can't even see in there. You know where? That's a bother you too, huh? Yeah. This thing is not easy to do the way they got this thing situated. Finally, I got it in there. Now, what I'm going to do is push in and turn at the same time, twist it at the same time, so it can make sure it sits right inside with it. Make sure that O ring sits in there. Not in. Now, I'm trying to do this by hand. If not, let me get, get my hose pliers. Thing still. I'm trying to fight these gnats and do this at the same time. See where I'm in there. I got no kind of sight. I know I'm, I know the hole's off. Ah, I 
think I got it in there. Am I? Am I close in? Is it flush? No, I don't like. You want to make sure the sensor is definitely flush up against that cylinder head, or you're going to have some problems. You're going to try to tighten up that bolt, and it'll break the sensor. But being that I am close now, man, I'm going to try to use my hose pliers. Push it in a little bit more. What's wrong with you, man? Next, getting my nose. <laughs> All right, I definitely got it lined up now and in there. And now what I'm gonna do? Oh man, that plug came off. I gotta make sure that thing stays up there. Well, you know what? Let me. Let's get our bolt in there first. Could you please? <laughs> this is some bull. <laughs> this is bull. I can't believe it. I can't believe that just happened. All right, we're gonna go fishing for this boat again. We'll be right back. All right, this time I got a piece of plastic in there. Forget that, plastic. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, let me reach over here, get this boat in there, get it started. There we go. All right. that bolt up now as soon as the bolt stops just turn it a little bit more to snug it and that's it don't over tighten it or you will strip that bolt out now that's over here let's get that sensor plugged up this pipe is definitely a problem it's definitely in the way Make sure that plug does not come off. Good. All right. All right. Let's get our air cleaner on. Get the rest of it back together. We'll be right back. All right. Marcus is going to show us how to put everything back together. That's the air tube. And that's the air cleaner top. All right. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my air tube. And I want to put it back where it the way it came, God, I remember that hose is right. That hose is right here, so it goes this way. Make sure it's all on the way on. Push, make sure it's pushed back. And let's see. That's all we want. Okay. We're gonna tighten it up. Yep. Now you you know what? Don't tighten it up yet. What you wanna do just in case you have to turn it or twist anything, all this stuff. All right. Yeah, put everything together. Now what about that hose that goes in the back? Hose oh, on the back is so this little hook up right okay. here. And oh and and guys, just in case you don't know, that hose is a vent for the transmission. So it doesn't hook up in anything, it just does just like that. Take the uh, air first. Yeah, the air clean the top. Make sure it's going on the right way. Take it right there, take it right there. Now what you want to do is put that hose on first. Alright, just about there. And now hook it into where it's supposed to be. And as you can see, it hooks on down to those tabs first. And you gotta make sure, yeah, it hooks in there. Push it down. Make sure the other one, all the way. All the way in there. And if it don't push down, it means you got something lined off. Oh, wait, 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 wait,
we got that plug over there. Yeah, the plug is in the way. All right, then we go push down, lock the tabs in place. All right, plug up the mass airflow. Tab one on the top, so just push that on. You don't gotta squeeze it in, just push it in and it'll snap right in place. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, it just the tab. Uh, yeah, post a uh, there we go. all right. Now, next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna tighten up the clamp back there and tighten up this one because this one we know this was loose. We're gonna tighten up this one and then we're gonna put the holes back. We'll be right back. All right. So next thing I wanna do, uh, we'll put on, I'm gonna put on the hose. Put that right now. Box said it right there. And thought about it, which is just it. Just put it right up in there. Set my vice grips. Close in. All right, we got everything hooked up. We are done. The next thing we're gonna do is Mark is gonna go get the Actron, and we're gonna clear the check engine light out. Set this. Put this up. So he's gonna get that and we'll be right back. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I want to connect my Atron to the connector located under the stern, stern wheel. On. So now I wanna cut the key on to on. Let me go on the other side. Now, he's on his screen right now. The next thing we're gonna do is hit enter. Uh, now we can go on the vehicle, vehicle specific by putting in Asian and all that. What we're gonna do, dang, man. Hit global. Keep it. Enter. Enter. Um, now he wanna scroll down, hit down, go down one to diagnostic codes. Um, go down to now if he wants now check this out this is what we're gonna do go to the read codes for a second let's just make sure uh, now this is the older Actron we're doing it connects faster because this one can't read transmission ABS and airbag and all so it connects faster than the other one because it can only read transmission uh, some transmissions and the engine all right it's linked up hit enter Okay, one code, two codes, PO340, and scroll down one. Uh, that's all. Now, remember, the other, when we hooked up the other scanner, it showed uh, catalytic converter also, catalyst efficiency. But this one's only showing the PO340, which you have changed. All right, now what you want to do is hit go back, and that's the back out, right? Uh huh. And you want to scroll down to erase the codes. All right. Now, what is it saying? Are you sure you want to erase the diagnostic results? All right. And Explain codes? to him what you want to do. Uh, I want to go over and click yes because I do want to erase so I can clear out the uh, check engine light. Okay. Okay. Command sent. Hit enter, and that's it. Unplug your Actron, and the codes are now cleared. Start the car up. We want to make sure the check engine light is out. Which is out now. We gotta do some more work on this. Let's go out here and listen to this, guys. I told I told this customer about this a while ago. You hear this noise? It sounds like the tension, the chain tensioner. So uh, and it's been doing that for a long time though. But that is definitely an issue. All right, we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
and that's how you change the camshaft position sensor sensor on bank one if you have any questions or comments please leave them below or contact tim at tim at astra auto repair i'm marcus oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. what you mean Contact Tim at Astro Auto uh, Repair. I said Tim. I said two Tim. Two times. But you didn't say the dot com. You said oh. contact Tim at Tim at Astro. You could contact Tim at Tim at Astro Auto Repairs dot <laughs> Astro Auto Repairs dot com. I'm Marks for Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Catch you later.